Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, it's 4.42 a.m. and it is May 28th, I want to say. Um, I woke up over an hour ago and I've been writing uh, a dream that I just saw, I just had um, about an hour and a half ago. I dreamt that um, America was bombed and um, so I want to share this dream with you real quick. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, what actually woke me up was not the dream. It was um, my son, Micah. He's 10 and he was up with a stuffy nose and making all kinds of noises. So I woke up to check on him. And um, after I rubbed some um, peppermint oil and vapor rubbed his feet and chest, I tucked him back to bed and um, I tried to go back to sleep. And then all of a sudden it hit me that oh my gosh i just had a dream of america being bombed oh my goodness and my heart was just still somewhat racing um because i was i had just woken up from uh enduring uh, uh bombs dropping you know upon the land and um on top of me but um i was i was kept safe so before i start sharing um the dream I want to share the scripture that um, the Lord showed me, not just in the, this particular dream, but in at least four or five other dreams. Um, he has shown me Psalm 91. He has promised um, that he would keep those who abide under um, his wings. Um, he would keep them safe. So I'm going to read it real quick. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I will trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and His wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. I'm going to stop there. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. So I'm going to stop there. Um, I'm going to start reading you the dream that I just had. I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. And, um, let's see. Yes. Yes. Then all of a sudden, after I checked on my Micah, um, and tucked him back to bed, um, and I was trying to go back to bed, then all of a sudden it dawned on me, oh my gosh, I had just dreamed that America was bomb. I saw many planes, lots of planes, with tons of massive bombs being dropped upon the nation. I'm unsure where. But I was with my sweet and wonderful sister-in-law, Chica, and my beloved brother, Sapak, and his family. I watched in horror because the planes and bombs came out of nowhere, and I have goosebumps and chills writing this down. The sound was thunderous and, um, can't read my own, my own handwriting, and deafening. It was like atomic bomb sounds and the earth shook while the bombs, bombs after bombs, pounded upon the land. My entire being was um, consumed by the thunderous blast. But in spite of being in the midst of having bombs dropped from the skies over my head, I saw a black covering like some type of massive shield over my head while I dug and crouch underneath underneath it with my hands covering both my ears i had natural fear and reactions of any human who was experience, experiencing being bombed but there was also a peace in the midst of death as i shouted out the name of jesus 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 have mercy, Father, have mercy, Father, have mercy, Father, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I remember while the explosions were going on around me, I tried to look near me to see if my sister-in-law and brother and family were safe. I was very concerned for them, 
but could not see anything or anyone, for I was sheltered under this black shield from above. It kept me safe from multiple atomic bombs that were dropped. I was surrounded by darkness, even though it was daytime, just like the scripture I just read. Destruction that wasted at noonday, verse 6. Right before I dreamt of being bombed, I dreamt that I was with my sister-in-law, Chica, and beloved brother, Sopak. We were getting ready to settle into some type of place, like maybe a rental vacation type of place of some sort. I want to interject right here that um, um, my family and my brother's family and my sweet sister-in-law and her family were all meeting up, you know, the end of June, um, the first week of July yeah, at, um, at a f popular Florida beach. And it's our family uh, get together usually once a year. So um, maybe this dream has something to do with that. I'm not sure. But we're very excited about meeting up. We haven't seen each other in a year. And we love each other dearly. We're very, very close. But we didn't get to um, stay in it. We had to quickly evacuate. I do not remember why we had to quickly leave that place and could not stay there. But I want to say that there was a knowing in my spirit or it was told to us in the dream that the place would be flooded. And I believe it did flood after we had left the place and the rest of the area we evacuated was underwater. So we went on a journey to the next town in search of a comfortable place to stay. We passed by many same looking condo buildings type, like about 15-20 uh, feet high stories. Um, and my brother did not want to inquire on renting those. I sensed in my spirit, knowing him, he wanted a more appealing and private home setting to rent for all of us. So we came to a different area and he found a place he wanted to rent. We know that due to the um, emergency evacuation for the massive flooding, there was a good chance that there were no availability. So in my dream, he turned around to look at me and called upon me to go with him because he believes in his heart that I had favors and upon my favors upon my life. And if I went with him and do the talking, perhaps we had a better chance of getting a place. Um, just so you know, my brother is a very uh, intelligent, um, wonderful, successful um uh, young man and um so he wouldn't need me uh, for anything uh, he's pretty awesome i love him but in this dream he looked at me and he sensed that i had favor and he wanted me to come with him to do the negotiating or asking or inquiring um so i went with him and met up with an old man who came out from the properties we were inquiring about we told him what we needed and shortly after we began speaking with him we ended up hitting it off with the old with the owner and um, all were laughing and uh, very friendly towards each other he called a couple of his two closest um, friends or family members over to meet with us they were two young men um, I want to say they were wearing jeans like cowboys or something um, in their mid 30s or early 30s i think they came over there with their truck and we all found favor with the old man and his two close friends i feel in my spirit they were his two sons though anyway i don't know um, what exactly what happened next except that i believe we were getting settled into this rental home and i was waiting for someone and kept looking towards the distance just eagerly anticipating this person's arrival. I want to say that um, um, once we uh, get to the place in real life, um, when we're meeting up, I'm supposed to be um, picking up my husband from the airport who will be joining us, who will be flying in from Japan uh, to join us. So maybe that was who I was waiting on. Um, I'm not sure. Or it could be me waiting 
um, on the return of my bridegroom Jesus. I'm not sure what it means. After this scene was um, when out of nowhere, without a warning, I saw planes came out of nowhere and bombed, bombarded the skies. Sorry, I can't read my handwriting. I wrote it really fast. Bombarded the skies above us and began dropping those deafening bombs. It was so intense, so very loud, all-consuming thunder. And yes, the earth shook from these bombs, all on top and surrounding me. But the black shield above my head covered me, and I was safe, untouched by the catastrophe, although surrounded by chaos and black smoke and darkness and could not see anything or anyone outside of my shield, I knew in my heart I was um, shouting and pleading Father God for mercy and calling out the mighty name of Jesus. I knew there was no way anyone would survive these bombs, not unless the mighty one hid them under his covering. No chance they would avoid this destruction, it was sure. In four of my other dreams, with the last year of catastrophe upon the land, the Lord spoke his um, promises in Psalm 91 to me in those dreams as well. So this would be the fifth where he's using Psalm 91 to comfort me and to affirm um, of his promises. He told me in most of those dreams that only those who abide under the shelters of the Most High will be kept safe. I saw in a different dream just um, less than a year ago that America had become a fatherless nation. They have forgotten Father God and have lost their identity as a true Christian nation. So they are like orphans. I saw two um, children, they're like um, in their mid-teens and, and one close to being a uh, teenager. And they were wearing black clothing. They were orphans. And instead of running under the covering of God, uh, they ran away from him. And they were um, very dismal. So they are like orphans and have ran off from his love, mercy, and protection. God did not change or stop loving her. She has changed and has abandoned him. So they are orphans left to fend for themselves, while the arms of Almighty God, the shelter of the Most High, remains for all and any who would run to it and abide under his wings of protection. The choice to abide in him or to leave him is completely on our, our hands and not God. He remains faithful and true and promised to protect all of his faithful ones in the day of calamities that is coming. May those who have 